Hello, uh, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to try a simple nymph. Um, this would be just, I would fish this probably when it's raining out in the early spring. Um, oops, tighten my vase up. I got a size 14 nymph hook right here. 14 and 18 um, seem to work the best. This is basically a mayfly imitation. So it's a real thin nymph. And uh, generally I'll fish this with a sink tip line. So I do not weight it. I got some brown goose bites. Brown. And natural seem to work the best. Okay, I get I have some uh, extra fine uh, pearl tinsel. If you don't have that, you can just use pearl flashaboo. It's the same thing. Just pay more for the pearl tinsel, but it's a little more durable. Take some olive dubbin and. This is a real easy mayfly pattern um, for beginners. So I just have some olive rabbit. I should dub that very thin. Thinly. Need just a touch more. Less is more on this fly because mayflies are very thin. Okay. To rib this up. This adds just a little bit of flash to the fly. Okay, you can put a thorax if you wish, um, so I'm going to do that, I have some goose, i get this goose, uh, just take a few strands of some goose you got laying around, should be natural or black goose. You built up a very nice little thorax area. Um, so I'm going to take some scud dubbin. This has some antron, some opossum, a bunch of stuff. And this is just in the hare's ear, as they call it. Just a tan color. Dub this nice and light. Remember, less is more. Okay. Okay. Fill up. Small little head. Could put some legs on this fly, but personally, this is the most effective fly for you know a small creek right here. It's easy to tie, easy to fish. Spend more time on the water, less time at the bench. But here you go. Very simple fly. Thanks for joining me and please comment.